Hi, I'm Erica, the PCOS personal trainer, and I want to quickly go over some symptoms of PCOS. Many of these you already know, so we're going to focus on some symptoms that patients and even physicians often overlook. And my goal here is to give you information so that you can work with your healthcare team to get the absolute best treatment possible. Now, the most common symptoms that are going to get you a diagnosis or treatment are missing your period, infertility, hirsutism, acne, and unexplained trouble losing weight or easily gaining weight. Now, I've been working with women who have PCOS since 2014, and I can tell you as a coach and a personal trainer who's worked with hundreds of women that there are a few symptoms that even your physician might not be addressing in your checkups. The first is fatigue. Now, you know you have a problem with chronic fatigue if you find yourself more days than not thinking, my life would be oh, so much better if I had more energy. Or you might even find yourself jealous of people your age who have more energy. Those are good signs that fatigue's a problem for you. And the symptom of fatigue can be a sign that you have an underlying thyroid condition, sleep apnea, or unaddressed insulin resistance that needs work through either medical or lifestyle um, modifications. And so addressing those now could greatly improve the quality of your life and reduce some of the other symptoms that come along with fatigue. The next symptom is acne inversa. Now, acne inversa is not normal PCOS hormonal acne. It is actually painful boils, often in your armpits and groin area. They're like these little marble-sized bumps, and they're very, very painful, and they don't go away very often. In fact, uh, people who have them often avoid working out, which is a huge bummer if you have PCOS and you want to work out and you have these painful boils that are keeping you from doing so because the act of moving around and sweating aggravates your condition. The good news is, is there are treatments for acne inversa, both lifestyle and medical. So bringing it up with your physician so they know that you have this and not just classic PCOS acne is critical to improving the quality of your life. And the third and final symptom I wanna talk about is belly fat, even if you're at a healthy weight or you're actually kind of on the skinny side. If you have a tendency to gain fat around the middle, it could be a sign that you are insulin resistant. Even if you're not testing for it on a blood test yet, you may wanna start taking steps to address insulin resistance before it becomes a problem that shows up on like a diabetes screening. Ways you can do that are taking supplements like inositol or NAC, NAC, and of course, you could look into taking metformin, which is a prescription drug for insulin resistance. Strength training also helps with insulin resistance. And uh, of course, there are dietary measures and different diets that you can do to improve uh, belly fat insulin resistance. And just a special note that if you're experiencing fatigue and a tendency to gain weight around your middle, that usually to me is a dead giveaway that you have some insulin resistance issues that should be addressed sooner rather than later because you're probably on the road to having a, a problem down the road. So just go ahead and, and start addressing them now. Be proactive. Um, if you have a symptom that you feel like your physician's not addressing or helping you out with, or you just want to share with other women maybe some experiences you had, please, please, please leave a comment below about the PCOS symptom that bugs you the most. Uh, and if you are looking for extra help with PCOS and addressing some of these symptoms, there's a link below. Click on the link below and sign up for my symptom action plan. It'll give you some advice from experts I've met along the way on my PCOS journey to help improve the quality of your life and get the treatment and care you deserve from your physicians.